Shalom, 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 shalom to the 12 tribes of Israel, given the course, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Mahashiach, Yahweh Shah, right? And as you can see from the title of the video, we we'll be going into um, the verse, right, that says, um, blessed are they that do his commandments, right? Now, let's pull that verse up, right? That verse is referring to Revelation chapter 22 and verse 4. Of 14, right? But I'm going to start at 12. And it says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So this is Yahweh Shah talking, right? Let's go to that. How do we know that? So Revelation is the, is the last book of the New Testament, right? And this is Revelation chapter 1, verse 1, and it reads, The revelation of Yahweh Shah Mahashiach, which God gave unto him. To show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Right? And it says, Who bear record of the word of the Mosai and of the testimony of Shamashiach and of all things that he saw. Right? So John, he bear record of the word of the Mosai. So he wrote down everything that he saw, everything that he heard. Right? So that's what that's what he did. Right? So let's go back to Revelation chapter 22. So we got the context, right? So this is Yahweh Shah talking to him. So Revelation chapter 22 and verse 13. And it reads. And it reads, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And it says, Blessed are they that do his commandments. So that so Yahweh Shah said, "Blessed are they that do His commandments." So if you're blessed, you do you you if you're you're blessed when you do the Most High's commandments, right? You're not blessed if you know you say that you're blessed, right? People say you know bless you, right? Or God bless you, right? And Yahweh Shah said, "Blessed are they that do His commandments," right? That they may have right to the tree of life. And may enter in through the gates into the city. What city is this talking about? This is talking about New Jerusalem. Right? It's talking about the kingdom. Right? And it says that they may have right to the tree of life. Right? They may have right to uh, um, um, the tree of life, which is the, you know, the knowledge. Right? But, you know, the main point I want to touch on is, blessed are they that do his commandments. Right? And Yahweh Shah said, look, behold, I come quickly, right? Yahweh Shah said um, in the Gospels, right, that he's going to come as a thief in the night, right? You don't know when a thief is coming, right? So Yahweh Shah, he said, look, I'm coming quickly, right? And it says, and my reward is with me, right? Now, that reward could be either a good thing or a bad thing, right? If you do good, if you keep the most high's commandments, if you do that which is required of you, if you do that which is required of you, right, then that's good. That reward is good. But if you don't do what's required of you, right, then that reward is bad, right? And it says, to give every man according as his work shall be. So you know how that re reward could be either good or bad, right? Because the most high is going to judge us. Out of the books. Let's go to um, Revelation chapter 19. Or Revelation chapter 20 verse 12, right? And it says, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the Most High. Right? And the books were opened. Right? And another book was opened, which is the book of life. Right? And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Right? According to the works. So the Most High, He's going to judge us. He's going to judge us by the by the Torah, by the law, right? He's going to judge us by the prophets. He's going to judge us. He's going to open the books, right? And He's going to judge us, right, according to our works, right? He's going to examine us and see if we have done what's required of us according to the scriptures, right? Those are the books, right? When it says, and the books were opened. And then it says, and another book was opened. What's this other book? And it says, which is the book of life? So the book of life, right? Just to give you the synopsis, the book of life is the book 
um, containing, right, a, a list of people that shall get the kingdom and that shall not get the kingdom, right? And it says, and the dead were judged out of those things which are written in the books according to their works. So it's, it's always going into according to your works, right? Even though the Most High has ordained people to be destroyed, right? Has ordained people to be destroyed and has ordained people to get the kingdom and be saved, Right? The Most High always says according to their works. Right? Because though He has ordained uh, uh, us, and, and we don't know, right? We don't know if we're, um, you know, ordained to destruction or if we're ordained to, um, uh, uh, to, you know, to the everlasting life. We don't know, right? In, as individuals. But, um, but, right? If if we're in this truth, right, the most we have known we ha we know that the Most High has chosen us, right? The Most High has chosen us to be in the truth, and to know and have a chance to get the kingdom, right? And it says according to their works, right? So your works, a hey, your works, uh, um, is what you do on the earth, right? Because you can have all the faith you want, but you still need a uh, um. Play out the works that the Most has, uh, the Most High has um, planned out for us to do, right? Let's go to James, chapter two. Let's go to James chapter two, right? Verse seventeen, and it says, "Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone." So faith, right? If you if you have faith, right, but you don't have works, your faith is dead. Your faith is is futile, right? It's nothing. Right? Let's go. Let's let's read more. More of that, right? It says, um, verse 18, it says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I'll show thee my faith by my works. Right? And it says, Thou so a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Right? So and and it says, Show me thy faith without thy works. Right, so show me your faith uh, without your works, right? You can't. And then it says, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Because really, um, you can tell how much faith someone really has according to their works, right? What they do on the earth, right? If someone, a brother in the truth, is, you know, daily, constantly uh, um, doing what's required of them, right? Uh, keeping the commandments, being di diligent, reading, praying, fasting, right? If he's doing uh, due diligence unto the Most High, you can tell that that brother has faith. But if another brother in the truth, if he's lackadaisical, right? If he's lukewarm, right? If he's, you know, willfully going off, you know that brother doesn't have faith. He lacks faith, Right? So that's what James is saying through the spirit power Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh And it says, right? So basically, yeah. And then let me just go down and it says, verse 26 For as the body without the spirit is dead, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So your faith without your works is dead, right? So let's go back to Revelation. Right, Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So you're blessed when you do the most high's commandments, right? And his commandments is talking about the law, right? You're blessed when you do the law. And it says that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city, right? And let's go to um, Psalms 1, verse 2, right? Psalms 1 and 1, right? And it says, Bless is, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Right? But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Right? So in, in the law, right? The law tells you, right? To um basically think upon the most high's commandments. Right? Let's go to that real quick, right? 
Deuteronomy, I believe, chapter 6. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. Come on. And it says, And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So basically meaning, you know, all the time. Right? Let's go to that. Let's go to that in Joshua. Right? It says, Thou shalt talk of them, right? Basically daily, all the time, right? And it says, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Right? So basically, it says that the, this book of the law shall not depart of thy mouth. Right? Meaning what? You continually talk about the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, let's lock it. And it says, uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law should not depart of thy mouth. Right? So, meaning what? Are we supposed to have the law in our mouth continually? Right? Are we supposed to put the Torah, put it on our mouth, and we can't take it out? No, it's talking about, you know, you're always, always talking about it. Right? That's what it says in Deuteronomy. Right? That's what it says in Deuteronomy. So, in Deuteronomy, it says, you know, you gotta, you gotta teach them your children. You gotta teach the laws to your children, right? And talk about them when you, uh, let's go back to that, right? It says, um, shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, when thou risest up. All the time, right? So let's go back to the blessed, right? Let's go to Apocrypha. Right? And it says, Sirach chapter, um, let's see, Sirach, let me see, 15, 20. Uh, Sirach 17, I believe. Sirach chapter 17. Lock. I'm going to read Sirach Right, Sirach 14 and 20 And it reads Blessed is the man that doth benetate good things and wisdom And the that reasoneth of holy things by his understanding, right? Because basically the law, the law says this, right? So blessed is that man that does that, right? Meditates good things and wisdom. What is the good things, right? The good things is the law, right? Romans 7 and 12, right? Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good, right? Right? So that's what, you know, a blessed man, a blessed man, he does this, right? Blessed are they that do his commandments. That's part of doing the commandments, right? There's Because there's commandments all throughout the scriptures, right? Sirach 39 and 1. And it says, but he that giveth his law to the mind, the, uh, it's locked, that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients. And be occupied in prophecies. Right? And it says. And he will keep the sayings of the renowned men. And where subtitled parables are. He will be there also. And this man he is blessed. Right? Because what? He meditates good things and wisdom. Right? So basically. Right? In order for you to be blessed. Right? You got to keep the most high's commandments. You got to do with do that which is required of you, right? Um, let's go to um. Uh, actually, should remember precept. Let's go to uh. Slug. Let's go. To.
to loop real quick. So, uh, so let's go to Luke chapter 12, verse 37. Blessed are those servants, right? Let me um go uh let me go verse 35 and it says, Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. What does that mean? Be continually on fire in this roof. Be continually meditating, right? Doing that which is required of you. Keeping the commandments, right? Teaching your people if you're called out to do that, right? And it says, ye, and ye yourselves, like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Wherefore, verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Right? So Yahweh shall blessed are those servants. If you call yourself being the servant of Yahweh, if you call yourself being the servant of the Most High, right? If you call yourself, you know, in the truth, then you are a servant of the Most High. Right? This is this is a um this is an uh, uh a job, right? If you if you're in this truth, you have been called, you have been hired. Right? And just like a job, you can be fired, right? And so it says, blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching, right? Watching what? Watching the prophecies, right? Watching out for the prophecies, watching out for Yahweh Shah, for the signs, right? And verse 38, it says, and if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them, so blessed are those servants, right? Verse thirty nine, and this known, that if the good man of the house had come, had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not, right? Baha because we that's why we always have to be. Have our loins girded about, right? And our lights burning, right? Watching for the prophecies, doing that's what, doing that which is required of us, right? Being that blessed man, um, that Revelation twenty two talks about, right? That that multiple scriptures that we talked uh, that we uh, went through talks about, right? So with that, I'll like to. Give a call like how about Shimon Mashak Elsha? Well, shalom.